My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Get that old uniform on, here we go. It's uh, time for a Hunter Percent speedrun of Enter the Gungeon. Not at all, not even slightly. I'm gonna try and be optimal on the first floor, and then after that, I'm gonna be a lazy bones about it, because I can keep up a maximum of energy for maybe a half minute. If I push it. I have not seen this room before. It is... Well, certainly lucrative. I'll give it that much. Doesn't seem to really have any difficulty associated with it, but I'm not really going to begrudge it that. Okay, that's a very quick oubliette open as well. So we know some general things about the map now. Nice, nice, nice. Most usefully, it will tell me where the secret room is not. I moved a little closer than I was probably needing there, just because I wanted to cancel out some of the inaccuracy of this weapon. Got him. There we go. If only I hit that shot perfectly, it would have been so good. Flawless clears. Alright, I should also make sure not to leave these rooms as quickly as I have been. Just because eventually that will cost me an ammo drop or an armor drop or something like that. And I'm going to be real saddened by it. I'm leaving that key there intentionally. Uh, I... I used to mention this every single time I used to do it, but I'll mention it explicitly again because I have had questions about it. I leave the first key I get every floor until I go and find the shop because if you don't find a key or at least don't pick up a key before you interact with the shop, you guarantee that the shop will contain a key. It's just a handy tip to force the game to give you more keys because, of course, that's a very consistent problem that people have in runs, just not having enough keys. So I also try and use my keys relatively sparingly. Unless I know I want to use it in a specific position, I try not to. It's one of the reasons I open relatively few brown chests, but it's also worth noting the majority of voices that I've seen in strategic discussions of that on things like Enter the Gungeon subreddit and different streams uh, tend to see that as a really valuable line of play as well. So it's not just a thing I do, it is corroborated. Um... Oh well. Unfortunately, that is a relatively poor Cursula shot, all things considered. It's a good blank, but bad that I needed it. Can you fucking relax? This is a really, really bad gold fight so far. I need the gold to teleport away. Like... Yep. That was fucking horrible. Wow. That was a really bad gull fight because the gull spent so long cornering me on that one side that I really could not react to it at all. And it just did the same spread attacks and the eight ball. Eight ball, sorry. The splitting large ball. This is also one of the worst maps to fight against the Gatling gull on. So I was hoping to take no damage, but instead I'm going to take four damage. Ugh. That was horrible. Thankfully, we got a lot of money. Alright, well, I guess we're going to the oubliette then. I'm, I'm really sorry about that fight, actually. Really frustrated by how poorly that went. Uh, very unlikely to end up opening that. Let's go for our full clear. I'll keep you on the offhand, thank you very much. A 
Especially since we got so much money. Oh, what? God damn it. Especially since we got so much money from this floor. We're in a really good position to go down to the next floor and just try and get something from that shop. Just try and get as many shops as we possibly can. Because... Hell, we can get some good things from them. Eh, magic rounds. Not horrible. I was certain this was where I wanted to be. That's a shame. We'll pick up the extra key, especially this early in the game. Alright, we'll go shoot this, and then we'll go down to the Oubliette. Especially at this point, it's probably not worth us trying to uh, open those chests or anything like that. I want to be able to take the two keys down here. Sorry, there's an argument to be made that taking down extra keys with you is not 100% necessary as the Huntress. By poor, uh, pure virtue of the fact that the dog has the ability to find you keys, but that is so inconsistent as to be something that I pretty much completely ignore as a worthwhile strategy. Got him. So the magic rounds are going to be pretty good for us. Especially if we get a hexing weapon. Oh, these aren't the magic rounds. No, these are the charming rounds. Okay, they're, they're fine, but I don't particularly like them. Man, I'm really sad we didn't get the magic rounds then. Woo, that was a nice shot. I should have Rusty Arm on my side, uh, on my offhand. See, this is one of the reasons that I don't rush to go and spend all of my keys. Because we've got a locked shop here. So I would actually be on zero, zero keys uh, for the chests on this floor. Because I'd have to open the shop due to the amount of money I currently have. I'm just going to stay all the way back here and constantly try and shoot through these. Got him. As long as I can keep my hold on this uh, circular glass pane. Has a name, I'm pretty certain. Glass guanstone, there we go. I'm going to be particularly pleased. I mean, we have a sale grade at least. I'm not too pleased. Hey, come up here. Beautiful. All I wanted was that enemy to feel the wrath. Nay, the pain inherent in the poisoning factors. Okay. Beautiful. What you got, buddy? That's what I fucking thought. <laughs> Fight it out. So this room actually sucks. <laughs> that was a good charm. Okay, maybe I undervalue charms significantly. Or maybe it's overperforming in this run. Or maybe it's only good when it's strapped to a weapon that is itself already good. Because a lot of the weapons that have a charm effect on them are, well, just trash.
trying to conserve a lot of ammunition here because I'm planning on using this weapon against the boss. We good. Beautiful. Just making certain that I didn't accidentally leave an ammo in that room. Got him. If I want to protect this glass one stone, I am actually going to have to have, you know, ammunition to do it. That's going to be damn necessary. So now I'm going to be, on occasion, alternating off to my other-handed weapon. Uh, I don't need to go into that room. It's a treasure room. Definitely, it could have a, you know, it could have a fuse on the item there, and then I would have to immediately- Oh man. All right, I'm gonna try and... I hope that this connects to here so that I can avoid that trap room. Because as I've said before, I take damage like 99% of the time in that trap room. Hey, got one. That was the intention the entire time. We managed to get it to trigger once, though. Got him. Oh, damn it. Never be cocky, Ryan. It doesn't work on you. It's not your color. Ah, shit. All right. Kiss goodbye to this uh, Guan Stone. The, any super cool play I can make, like dropping it here, then going through. No, because it'll just get stolen by the resourceful rat before I have a chance to pick it back up. I can't believe it, but I did it. Holy shit. <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> oh, just immediately follow that up with the world's worst roll. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. Thought I was going to be able to make it through there. That was cocky. Oh well. Boss time. I'm going to have to use our base weapon here. Thankfully, unlike a lot of other classes, our base weapon is totally acceptable here. It does the most damage out of all of the base weapons, in that it does six. So does the uh, budget revolver for the... What's that character? Budget revolver for the convict as well. But nothing does more. In terms of an infinite ammunition starting weapon specifically. And obviously not including blasphemy. But it also has range and eh, not the world's worst accuracy. So it has more damage, more range, more accuracy, and just a lower clip size than the pilots, pretty much. All right, halfway through the fight, still no damage. Pretty good. Doing some very reasonable damage. Hey, now we're entirely out of ammunition. I saw six shots left in it. That's not going to do too much on the next floor anyway. I may as well just finish off those six shots. Beautiful. Come back, Blobby Lord. 
Nice. See, now all of the horrible play happens on the floors. The bosses... Well, that's where I really get to shine, except for the first boss. Let's ignore <laughs> Let's ignore that one. It's also worth noting, that was a horrible cycle for the Gatling Doll. Typically, it's my... Uh, it's the simplest boss for me on the first floor. Alright. Not a horrible weapon. Not going to do an incredible amount next floor, though, but... Not too many weapons would. All right, uh, we've got the red over there, which I'm interested in. Is there anything red that I would want to pick up first before I open another chest? Not really. I mean, look. There's no chance I end up opening you. Ever. Which, yes, is slightly unfortunate because it means I miss out on some really good things in that tier. But it also is, overall, the better play. Snake Maker? Yay! Multiple times recently, I've called Snake Maker. And it's just been Rubidine 2 because I, you know, forget what they look like. I'm really glad to actually finally see Snake Maker in one of my runs. Uh, bugger. Do I want to sell anything? Not really. Not particularly, not drastically. Kind of want to check some walls. Be nice to pick up the secret room in this room. On this floor, rather. I'm just going to blank the two biggest rooms. Especially the ones that are adjacent to central holes in the map. I do want to go and sell Bo, but I'm not going to. Because I've already got a ridiculous amount of money, and I hope that I can just coast on that. I am already one master round behind the eight ball. That's a problem. If I can purchase health in a store, then we pretty much get to trade off our big advantage to combat our current big disadvantage. And I would be more than pleased to do that. I would do that immediately. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay, those rolls, though. I shouldn't have been in a position to need to do them. You are 100% correct, but they were executed well. Whew. Nice. All I really want to do is make sure that I get all of the money. That's it. That's all that matters to me. Getting all of the money and then just holding on until that somehow carries me through the game. Whether or not that means a black market. Note, I've not seen a black market in a very long time. So it's about due. But I've also not seen a YV shrine in a very long time, and I'd, I'd be okay with that. I wouldn't be thrilled, but I'd be okay. Hammer's not horrible, but I can kill the boss with my current weaponry. I might actually come back to purchase Hammer at some point, though. Nice. Uh, no reason to go into that room. <clears> hmm. <throat> uh, it might have adjacency to the shrine, though. But what are the chances that I'm actually going down to that area? Oh, not horrible, actually. 
If I end up ending this floor with a bunch of money and still nothing to do with it, and a bunch of extra keys, I could see myself going and trying to force out a win against the Abbey of the True... Can I see myself doing that? The more and more I think about it, the more and more I think, yeah, I don't have the health to do that. Maybe I have the health by the end of this floor, though. Right. Let's just chill out up here, thank you very much. Alright. We good though. We are very close to not having the ammunition in this weapon to kill the bo- Oh wait, no. Snake Maker, obviously. I was worried for the slightest of milliseconds, but we'll be fine. Two. Nice rolls. <sighs> oh shit, I can actually collect this key. Of course, I've already been to the shop. And that Snack Mecha on the other hand. If I recall correctly, Snack Mecha actually does an incredible amount of damage. I recalled correctly. Yeah, I can't actually stop you from getting this one, though. I can stop you from getting that one. By mecking it into a snack. Nice. So it's like the devs were thinking, hey, we don't have enough transmog weapons in this game. So let's invent an entirely new kind of transmog and have only one weapon use it. And I don't begrudge them that. I really appreciate it. <sighs> I can still see myself going down to the Abbey of the True Gun here. This looks highly suspect. And was... <laughs> Why? I don't particularly like that. Could you tell? Alright, let's try this one. She got bust up. I can go to the Abbey of the True Gun with that. Dueling laser is fucked up. Levels are good. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm down to clown with this shit right here. Obviously, we're gonna go check our secret room first. If we don't get ammo next floor, we could easily be screwed. Is there ammo in here? There is not. Oh, No, dueling laser is enough that it'll uh, still push us through on top of that. The problem is just that we need a weapon that can kill the old king. And at this point, it looks like that's going to be two full guns of ours, plus interstitial shots from the dueling laser. Good shot. Okay... Hey, 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 gotcha, buddy. Nice try, Palo. Also, that room 
It was annoying. Like, really, really annoying. For many, many reasons. Uh, but... Mostly because the enemies had such an advantage, though. Got him. See how frequently this thing cools down? It's almost ready as well. I don't think I want to try and force the weapon on this floor. I think I just have to do everything else before I do the boss. <laughs> the charmed rounds, I have to admit, are doing a lot better than I thought they would. So we'll try and check, uh, Sir Al uh, Brother Albin, rather. Hello, Brother Albin. There are several truths. It is made of sulfur, charcoal, and potassium nitrate. You can answer anything, by the way. You fucker. You gave me money. Honey, if there's one thing I didn't need. If you're wondering why I used a penetrative weapon to kill only one enemy, it's because I was terrified that enemy was going to be the only one in the room that stood a chance of dealing damage to me. It's also not a huge opportunity cost, consider the fact that I already have the laser back. Okay, then. And this is why I come down to a floor like this. It's worth noting, this is also likely going to be our boss weapon. They both disappeared as soon as I went to shoot them. Rough. Rough times. Hang on. Okay, I do have this on the offhand. Good. <laughs> Are they going to kill one another? Oh. Lame. It's only worried about getting the red coat down immediately. Okay, a dueling laser was not enough to take this guy out, but to be fair, fuck all is enough to take that guy out. He's a rough son of a bitch. Should refill the snake maker. Because the heroin is so ammo efficient, plus the added ammo efficiency I'm going to continually get from... Uh, repeated usages of the dueling laser. That really, my primary concern should just be having the best weaponry, not, you know, whether or not I have ammunition in it, because they are so efficient that I always will have ammunition in something worth good. Worth good. Worthwhile. Now I can worry about the fact that I should put that in the pulse cannon. Excuse me, I seem to have prematurely fired that load into a wall. It's like you don't even hear yourself talk. Alright. 
Dueling Laser is almost back. There's only one level of curse so far, but there are, you know, prescribed cursed enemies on this floor, so I'm not holding it against them. Not the not the way I was trying to push it, dang it. That would have been so cool. Now there is a second secret room on this floor, or rather, two secret rooms typically spawn on this floor. One of course being the uh, Brother Albin. But that's not a primary concern of mine right now. I'm suddenly very, very concerned. See, I had a trash run here last time. And it did fine. And this run is now decidedly less trash than that run. Maybe the difference is literally just that run had the ability to blank so much more commonly. Because I panic uh, purchased a bunch of blanks, but I also had Elder Blank. Though it's worth noting, I had like two opportunities to use Elder Blank in the actual Old King boss fight. We'll be fine here, though. Beautiful. Whew. Man, I'm glad we got this weapon. Aren't I so fucking glad? Can't you hear me smile? <laughs> all right, let's check for secret rooms. That's all this weapon's good for. Unless you get flat cannon. Or heavy boots, but I also don't like it at that point. <sighs> Plunger... It's fine. I don't think I'm going to check too hard for the second secret room here. Nice. That's what I really, really, really wanted. And we got it, so I'm happy. I don't think I need to purchase another key. I think I... I think I am more benefited by just still continuing to float this ridiculous amount of cash. It's been a while since I've had a heroin only run, so don't be mad. Please. You. Nice. Alright. Did I just get this back? Because that seems like it took a hell of a long time. Right now, it seems like the only time I actually want to swap to Dueling Laser, just because of how powerful the heroin is, is when I want a penetrative heroin shot. Don't get me wrong, that'll happen on occasion, but it's going to be saddening if that's the only circumstance I use it in. Uh, look, I have the weapons I want. 
I'm no longer going to be forcing weapons from bosses. Even on just the weapons I currently have, I'll be able to make it through the game. And I'm still going to get some more weapons before the end of the game, even without forcing them. Get him! Oh, shit! Okay, I actually just got saved by both of my Guan Stones on different sides. And I guess also when I haven't got the heroin reloaded. It'd be a real good position. Unfortunately, I don't know if I already have a key man on this floor, so having already spent a key was a bad idea. Extra blank likely means that I can do some... No! No! Okay, how did I not take damage there? I ran into that enemy like four times. Using naught but the pea shooter. Well, I can definitely do that. Especially because there's no way to actually fail this task. Unless I die. Somehow I think that one's not going to be too likely. Call it a hunch. wonder how many situations someone's been in where they have broccoli... And then they get given this challenge, they walk in and they shrek the room instantly because Broccoli Pea Shooter has that combo, which I've never had. That is one of those combos I've still never <gasps> Free stats! Magic sweet! Thank you! That's HP. Everything is going so damn well for us right now. Okay, so Magic Sweet... I don't know exactly all of the stats that increases. Should probably go quickly check. Uh, magic, sweets. I know it's speed up by 20%. Yeah, increases speed by 20%. Increases your coolness by one. I did not know that. Damage by 15%. And also adds one heart container to obvious reference to rare candy. Still not picked up a weapon, but that's not necessary, right? I've already opened a chest, so... I'm already at the point that I'm no longer... ...forcing the weapon on this floor. At least that's how I now understand this to function. Sorry, I just wanted to stay super far away from the grenade that was up there. And... It's gonna have to be a robbery to take it away from me now. Baboom! This! See? Look! They are not too dissimilar. They look very... a lot like one another. Here's the Rubidine Mark II, here's the Snake Mecha. They look very similar when you haven't seen either of them in a very long time, okay? So I imagine my swapping between the two didn't help demonstrate my point at all. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Let's go complete the rest of the floor again.
It is going to take me so long to run out of this heroin ammunition. And I'm using pretty much only it for boss and room clears. Obviously, I don't want to test the enemy here with it. Hmm. <laughs> Bugger. Alright. Is there anything I wanted to steal from the store? Or do I want to save all of my thievery until next floor? Because I might want to steal something from the floor store's next floor, and you only want to steal one thing. From the same store. And each floor, the store floor, with this same shopkeeper, counts as the same shop. Different instances of special shopkeepers count as different shops, and external to all of that, the blacksmith counts as a separate shop as well. Alright. Very nice. Oh, since I have plunger now, am I immune to poison? Was that what I just saw? I didn't take poison damage in there. Uh, I don't have any accuracy up, right? So the that one's not super valuable for me. Nor is Winchester Rifle, to be entirely honest with you. Uh, I don't blank this. Mm, and this one. I would have been really surprised to see it in that room, but still tried it anyway. Oh, I have one level of curse. Oh, of course. I have one level of curse, so I, I don't need to worry about having enough to get into a secret, sorry, a secret, a black market anyhow. But at the same time, I do want to save up just in case I end up in a black market. Because you want to have something to you know, spend, obviously. You want to splash that cash. That was my bad. And that lost me a Guanstone as well, didn't it? That was entirely my bad. I was thinking that I was going to be able to squeeze through there. Evidently, I was very strictly incorrect. Leave the ankle biter for the very last one. Now I probably want to change weapon. Just gonna be ankle biters from now on. Should probably also be a touch more accurate than that. Oh, righty then. Let's get back to our main weaponry. That's a locked, supposedly special shop. If it turns out to be a gun muncher, I'm gonna be mad about it, but I'm also still gonna have guns to munch. Obviously, since it is possibly a really, really important, like, key man or blank man or something like that, I am gonna have to go in. And investigate in person. Without the 15% extra damage, the heroine would not be one-shotting those purple coats, by the way.
Got him. <laughs> Looks like the dueling laser does have a drop off of damage like most other penetrative weapons I'm aware of. After the first target is hit. But that's just it functioning like most things tend to function in this game. It still does so much damage that that drop-off rarely uh, lowers the damage to a point that a target lives. But it did in that specific case because I was hitting so many things. I went backwards to catch that one. Oh, damn it. That went through one target before it got to the Skelligan. That's the only reason I think the Skelligan did not sit the fuck down after the immediate shot. Okay, this is, I think, going just, yeah. Going straight back to the other item room. Okay, and... Oh. Is there something suspicious in this room? Is it a... Is it a... Is it a secret room? Is that what you're yipping about? Freaking doggy always yipping about secret rooms. Ooh, a radiator lead. Don't mind if I do. Also, saving me a key. Don't mind if you do. Thank you very much. Mm, yeah. No, I'm still going to finish the floor first. Including specifically going to whatever the purple light room is. Good thing I start a step there. That's pretty good. Alright, let's go check it out. If it's a gun monster, I'm going to be... Pretty good too. I'm gonna steal that one. And then I kind of want to steal the oiled cylinder from you as well. So I want to have more money next floor. Is that crazy? Is that crazy? I don't think it is. That's a good weapon. I think I'm going to go that and the dueling laser for the boss kills. Let's go. I got caught on the wall. That's so fucking rude. There's no way that I should have taken any damage in this fight. I got caught on the wall. I'm so mad. Thankfully, I don't need the extra HP. I'm not in a position where it's going to be too problematic. But still, god damn it. <gasps> yeah, we got a synergy. Be prepared. Be prepared for the chance of a lifetime. Be prepared for sensational news. 
A shiny new era is tiptoeing nearer. And where do we feature? Just listen to teacher. Hey, and another one for me. Thank you very much. Alright, let's get down to the next floor and then we can go and look at this synergy. I am pretty sure it just gives you more bees when you're hit. I'm pretty certain it doesn't upgrade anything else for you. But I am double checking right now. Or at the very least I would be if the website didn't just stall. What are you doing, uh, Gungeon.wiki? Which is definitely not what it's called. Beehive. Let's go. Uh, increases, doubles the size of the hive bees. Increases their damage by 25% and decreases the fire rate by tw uh, 34%, which I imagine would be to combat possible uh, triggering of boss armor. Oh, here's a problem with stab bullets. My bullets are now going to collide with the walls all of the time. All right, let's use a different weapon. Fine, I have no problem shaking it up. Hell, you know what I haven't used a lot in this run, and I want to use a lot in this run? Snack Mecca. Let's make some snacks. Yeah. much damage and has a really really high transmog rate which is of course why it doesn't have too much ammunition for the type of weapon it is damn this room has all of the special adjacencies a shrine possibly a special shop excuse me we'll definitely do that actually you know what we'll definitely do that right now uh no after i purchase things You're not allowed to mech me into a snack. The snack mecking goes one way. I should have just stayed on my side. Should've just stayed in my lane. Perfect. We got the big guy just in time with a shot that he was charmed. And that charm caused him to turn around and kill the redcoat who'd just come out of teleportation. It'd scarcely have worked better. That's kind of obvious. Okay. That's not good yet, but it depends who's in this shop up here. Now it's good. I don't want to get table tech blank, but also not really. Damn it, these projectiles are too big. The stat bullets actually have a huge downgrade in value when they cause your bullets to accidentally start clipping the walls, removing a lot of the value of your bullets. Obviously, in open fights, they're still excellent. Uh, unless I get ammunition for the beehive, I'm not going and doing that yet. Thankfully, Science Cannon, uh, no, Plunger is actually going to be fine for me here. I was thinking Science Cannon for a second because I would need only one thing. I'd need something to be able to destroy the skull attack that the Dragon does. 
But I can get the plunger to do it immediately, whereas the science cannon warms up over time. This will be my fourth theft. Yeah, I'm still doing it though. Do I need to though? No, I don't. Obviously, if I had like gilded bullets or something, like I had a bonus for having more money, or if there was a YB shrine. I know there can't be two shrines, and I've already seen the shrine. Uh, there could be a black market, but it's really unlikely. Because black market is the only other way that there's another reasonable chance for something else that I can spend my money on on this floor. What's that, Lassie? You want me to check this? Alright. Checked it out! Damn! These bullets are gonna be dope as hell. And also, they're gonna be mad big. Mm, that's gonna be unfortunate. So actually pretty damn good before they level up. Obviously they'll be better afterwards, but still. The point just being, damn, we have some bullet modifiers in the house. Okay, and... Oh, great. Now I actually need to not get hit against the boss. Whoops. Alright, let's go... Hold this weapon. Hello, friend. Limited and renewed. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. What is renewed? Because I know limited decreased our maximum ammunition by 30% on every weapon. Renewed is... Restores a random amount of health. Oh, that's a... That's a rough one right there. Alright, let's go do our fight. Look at those bees! They're so big! You are a B, me too, thanks. That's my last blank gone. Start a step, start a step, start a step. Alright, good, good, good. Now, what do I use? Uh, it's actually gotta be that. Beautiful. Okay, so we have one clear answer as to what we use against the heart section. But if I get hit here, I'm going to be really mad about it, because that's 
Not too much Polaris leveling lost, but obviously we'll miss out on the Flawless. That's not fair. Look at that. There is no health in that health pool. That is a fucking eroded dry health puddle. That is not a health pool, it is a health desert. Please die. We're gonna have to chuck ammunition into something now. Snackmaker. Yeah, Snackmaker is gonna need it. Whew. Well... Let's think about it like this. I've had so many good results from the Dice Shrine that this one bad one kind of is made up for. Except for the fact that when you're streaking, all it takes is one bad one to fuck you forever. So I don't know how I feel about this. TLDR, I have no fucking clue how I feel about this yet. Get him. Nice. We've hit level two. There's a lot of splitting enemies in this room, so we should be able to... Hell, possibly hit level three. I'm not going to say we are going to do it for certain, but... I'm not going to put it out of the picture either. Damn. We get a ridiculous amount of money, of course, because we had a bunch of cursed enemies in there. Hey. Now we can just go around and do the old one shot to each and every enemy. Woo! Got him. Beautiful. That was a little rough there for a moment, but it worked out. I was shooting down that hallway very clearly the entire time. This is actually something about stout bullets, heavy bullets, fat bullets that annoys me about each and every one of those weapons. That they can stop you from doing shots you totally still should be able to make. And it's one of the reasons that I don't like using flame hands. Now this was apparently fixed. A while ago, uh, I'm gonna put that fixed in air quotation marks, because... Doesn't seem it. It'll take me all of my ammunition to get back to level 2. Oh, never mind. I'm back to level 1, because someone spawned inside of a wall. Ah... <sighs> The forgotten joy of using the Polaris, ladies and gentlemen. I was specifically spamming a bunch of shots in there just because I wanted to kill all of the bullats before they managed to fire and kill themselves. Level 2 will be enough to actually, you know, potently take out enemies rather than spam like I have been doing. Okay. 
Hey. Should be able to level up by the end of this room, actually, due to all the ankle biters that we got. Yep. Thing is, this weapon is going to be so beneficial to have when we finally do get to the end area. That I think it's worth the, inter like, the pain that I'm going to currently receive as a result of trying. Let this be the right direction. Nope. <sighs> I'm gonna guess just because it'll be interesting if it's true that it's on the inside of the map. And it would explain a lot of things about the current map generation. Nice. So it was on the inside of the map. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna get out the snack maker for these two. Actually made a cursed snake in there. Let's go check out the cursed snake. Yeah, yeah, there he is. Just chilling out. Bumping to some mad beats, yo. Should be these two. Let's go. Okay, that was a bad idea, but we're still fine to use this weapon. Unless we get hit again. In which case, it's totally off. I think I'll try and use Snackmaker in the dueling laser against the final enemy. I'm undecided as of yet. I guess I'm just reverting to that now. I don't know what part of my brain was like, yeah, no, that's, that's where you should go in order to dodge that attack. That is a reasonable location and will not result in you taking damage. So I would like to fire that part of my brain. Straight out of a cannon into the fucking sun. <sighs> Gonna, yeah, chill out down here for a second. In the one place I know I was never gonna get hit. I honestly love the design of the dueling laser. It's so good. It's... It, it obviously requires... Some... Attention. And some forethought and some mechanical, you know, mastery for use. But when you do, it extends the life of any of your other weapons so long and provides you with so much value, especially in boss fights, but even in rooms in general. And it charges so frequently, it's just, it's just so good. My name is Win Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Enter the Gungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.